What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel or online at www.whatsupintheSky.com. And I missed a couple of things here over the last couple of weeks. I've been uh, still busy with just after my father's passed away. There's still a list of like so much to do. Um, it was unexpected. He didn't know he was going to die. So I've uh, been doing my anomaly videos and stuff like that. A lot of the Mars ones just because where curiosity is rocks. But I wanted to come back with a little space news and uh, get to some of the ones that I missed, you know, over the last week or two. So, all right, here we go. Rainbow on Venus seen for the first time. This is from Universe Today. Um, Nancy Atkinson, Atkinson, what is this? Atkinson wrote this on March 11th. And it's basically about Venus and uh, how they they tried to get these clouds. This is called a glory that's seen on Venus on uh, 24th of July, 2011. This is uh, three images right here. It takes different ultraviolet, visible, and near infrared wavelengths. And uh, basically from the Venus monitoring camera, which is an ESA deal, um, you know, the European Space Agency. So, oh glory, a rainbow. I'll just read a little bit. Oh glory, a rainbow-like optical phenomenon known as a glory has been imaged for the first time on another planet. It was seen in the atmosphere of our nearest neighbor, Venus, by ESA's Venus Express Orbiter. Rainbows and glories occur when sunlight shines on cloud droplets. While rainbows arch across the sky, glories appear as circular rings of colored concentric rings centered on a bright core. Now, this is one on Earth, which is pretty cool. This is a glory with the aircraft shadow in the center. Apparently, you see these things from the uh, aircrafts a lot, it was saying. Glories are only seen when the observer is situated directly between the sun and the cloud particles that are reflecting the sunlight. On Earth, they can often be seen with the naked eye from airplanes or when looking down upon fog or water vapor, such as when climbing a mountain. So when you're up in it, you can see it, and also when uh, you're pretty much down. So in this one, it looks like basically the sun was directly behind the airplane, and they uh, got that picture right there. But um, on Earth, the simple ingredients needed for a rainbow are sunlight and rain droplets. On Venus, the droplets are likely made up of sulfuric acid. And here are the three images that they got it from, um, I do believe. And I don't know how they get the color. I guess they put the colors in themselves. You know, a lot of these pictures that we get from, that we think are from Hubble, that most people think are real, like real pictures of the universe, they're totally colored, totally, I mean, totally, totally, totally. A lot of them are just uh, redone. I mean, it's amazing. They don't look as great as they do when we get them. Um, they're all been recolored. They've all been um, had the artist touch to them. But anyway... Um, seeing the glory was no accident. This was I thought was kind of cool. They made a calculated effort to get image the clouds with the sun directly behind the Venus Express spacecraft. So obviously they've seen these there before and they wanted to get a good look at them. Um, so either way, or I thought that was kind of cool. I thought you guys would enjoy that. Let me show you that again. The uh, This is what they got out of it when they went ahead and composited it all together. Um, and this was also awesome. This happened uh, not too long ago. This was about the uh, the Hubble telescope witnesses an asteroid's mysterious disintegration. Now, they didn't know this baffled people because this isn't something that we usually see, apparently. The series of Hubble Space Telescope images reveals the breakup of an asteroid over a period of seven months starting in late 2003. Now, let's take a look at this here real fast um, as we watch it disintegrate. And uh, we'll look at the sharpened version here. Uh, we've got one, two, three, one, two little things there. This just disappears. This thing looks to have broken up. See, it looked like it might have been two there already. Uh, but it started breaking up. Here, more break up, more break up. This is almost gone. And then uh, this is what you're left with. I guess January 14th. So that's what, one, two, three, four months in the making. All right, so uh, NASA's Hubble Telescope has recorded the never-before-seen breakup of an asteroid in as many as 10 smaller pieces. Fragile comets composed of ice and dust have been seen falling apart as they near the sun, but nothing like this has ever been observed in the asteroid belt. And if you remember the whole uh, ice on thing that we just went through, we were just, you know, everybody's waiting for it to see when it hits perihelion as it gets close to the sun, would it disintegrate? And, uh, you know, after it left around, and it ended up, most of it did. Um, but here, this actually happened before. This is a rock, and seeing it fall apart before our eyes is pretty amazing, said David Jewett, 
of the University of California at Los Angeles who led the astronomical forensics investigation. The crumbling asteroid, designated P2013R3, was first noted, noticed as an unusual fuzzy-looking object by the Catalina and Pan-Star Sky Surveys on September 15, 2013. A follow-up observation on October 1st with the uh, W.M. Keck Observatory on the summit of Mount our Maui Key, a dormant volcano in the island of Hawaii, revealed three bodies moving towards the envelope of a dusty near the diameter, uh, nearly the diameter of Earth. Um, the Keck observer showed us the thing was looking was worth looking at with the Hubble. So basically, they got this is what's kind of neat about this. Uh, you know, they've got all these. The pan star is pretty. They got all these telescopes everywhere, and when they actually find something, they'll start looking at. You know, they have to beg Hubble to actually look at it. Apparently. Um, but they caught something pretty cool here. So it is unlikely the asteroid is disintegrating because of a collision with another asteroid, which it would have been instantaneous and violent compared to what has been observed. Debris such as high velocity smash up would also be expected to travel much faster than observed. Nor is the asteroid coming unglued due to the pressure of interior ices warming and vaporizing, which we would do as we would get closer to the sun. Um, let's see. This leaves a scenario in which the asteroid is disintegrating due to a subtle effect of the sunlight, which is caused by the rotation rate of the asteroid to gradually increase. Eventually, the component pieces, like grapes on a stem, succumb to centrifugal force and gently pull apart. The pop, I guess this is what they're coming up with here. The possibility of disruption in this manner has been discussed by scientists for several years, but never really observed. So maybe that is what's happening here. Pretty interesting. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll leave the rest of this. If you want to read list these things, not too much left in here. Um, but I thought that was pretty interesting. It looks like we're finding new stuff all the time. We see, uh, you know, everywhere we look, there's something new. You know, I think that uh, and we think we know everything. It's so funny. We're just learning about the uh, cosmos and we're just learning about everything up there. And uh, like Mars, what I've been really on lately with the Mars videos and stuff, we're really just learning about what's on Mars and especially the public because we, curiosity are giving us these shots to where NASA has it. They're not even debunking or are saying that some of this stuff is whatever now. They're just, you know, flat out. Not saying a word about these pictures, but they're putting them out. They're blurry. A lot of them look like they've been chopped up. But uh, you know, it's a time that we're going to get some interesting stuff in space, and we're really, I think, going to learn the next. Uh, if we can make it through the next thousand years, as a uh, you know, like we had through this last thousand, I think we are going to be a amazing species. Maybe we'll even be uh, you know, maybe a two or three planet species by then but anyway guys much love it's your boy will from the what's up in the sky 37 hope you guys had a wonderful weekend we'll see you saturday night now hope you are being safe a lot of people are out for st patty's day here in the united states getting hammered i remember i'm 33 now i just can't go do that anymore can't go get hammered like i used to all right take it easy guys peace